Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's me and I'm back with a new episode of 7 Inch Single Update. Uh, I believe this is the episode number 12. Uh, so uh, I have, uh, as usual, a handful of 7 Inch Singles to show you. Uh, most of them are pickups from a record store. A couple of them are actually from a thrift store, which is very weird because I very, very rarely I find anything, any 45s at thrift stores. Uh, but uh, for some reason, a few weeks ago, I, I went there and they had a bunch of them. Uh, most of them are from most of them were from the 80s uh, really crappy stuff uh, That I wasn't really into so I ended up uh, but there were a couple of them that really caught my attention that I picked up um, I have some new music some old music here. So a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead and check it out uh, Let's get started with uh, like I said my pickups or a couple of pickups from a thrift store uh, this one is by ELO uh, with their song I'm alive from the movie Sanadu, I think that's how you pronounce uh, the, the name of the movie. I don't really remember that movie. It is from 1980 on MCA Records, and in the back you'll see the classic ELO logo. Uh, the vinyl itself came on uh, kind of like the, the special labels for the movie Sanadu. And the B side is a song called Drum Dreams. And I will go ahead and say that I, the reason why I picked this one up was because I do like a lot of the ELO songs. And unfortunately, this one is not one of them. Uh, it's, I, I listened to it a couple of times and I just couldn't get into it. It sounds very, very 80s and uh, not in a good way. Uh, it's um, very cheesy sounding, uh, a lot of electronics into it. I, I just couldn't get into it. I didn't like it at all. Um, and um, I'm probably not going to end up keeping this one in my collection. If, if one of my subscribers wants it, uh, let me know. Put it in the description or send me a PM. Uh, I'll send this one out to you because, uh, like I said, I'm not planning on keeping, keeping this one in my collection. Um, if nobody wants it, I'm just going to end up returning it to the th thrift store anyways. But it's still cool because I rarely find anything by ELO at thrift store. So it's a, a kind of an interesting find anyways. Uh, all right, next, uh, also another pickup from the thrift store. And uh, this one is a little bit better than the, the last one. Uh, this one is Devo with their classic song, uh, Whip It. Legendary song with the really funny music video. You'll probably remember that one. Uh, this one is from 1980 also from Warner Brothers Records. It didn't come with the printed uh, sleeve, but it did come with the Warner Reprise inner sleeve. And uh, the B-side is a song called Turn Around, which I really, really enjoyed. Uh, it's a really punky kind of song. Um, and I actually ended up liking it a lot better than Whip It. For some reason, uh, Whip, Whip It was their their most most popular song, but uh, their uh, Devo were, or they are mostly known for their kind of uh, punky and funky kind of songs. Uh, which I think they're great and I, I like a lot of their music and to find this one at the thrift store was a great find So I'm glad to add this one to the collection again uh, Devo with uh, their legendary song uh, Whip It All right, next a uh, few uh, pickups from a thrift store first uh, Blondie with uh, their song Dreaming and this one is originally from 1979 on Chrysalis Records There's a cool picture of Debbie Harry with a cool hat and in the back you'll find the picture of the band and some skyscrapers. Uh, the the B has a song called Sound Asleep. And I'll say it's not my favorite Blondie song, but I do like uh, their style, so I ended up picking this one up anyways. Uh, but what's cool about this single is that uh, I actually didn't find this out until I got home and I saw the single. But it's actually a French pressing of the 45. And uh, it came also with uh, this really cool type of labels that I've shown before in one of my past videos. Uh, the, I forgot how they're called. It's kind of like that, uh, that etched kind of uh, textured uh, labels. And um, I asked before in the VC and uh, some people told me that it's the kind of labels that they used to use for jukeboxes. So yeah, really cool find, especially being a French pressing. And I didn't have this one in my collection at all. So and I do collect a lot of uh, Blondie singles. So I was glad to find this one and add it to the collection for sure. Uh, like I said, uh, Blondie with uh, Dreaming, really cool find. 
Uh, right up next, uh, this one is uh, was a gift from my girlfriend, and um, uh, you can tell that she likes my or she knows my uh, my uh, that what I like in music because uh, she picked this one up for me. Is the Ramones with uh, their single for Needles and Pins, and this one is from 1978 on Sire Records. It didn't come again with the. Uh, la the printed sleeve, uh, but actually I don't think it originally came with an inner sleeve because I went to Discogs and it didn't have a picture of it, it just came in like that, it, or at least uh, this version came in just like that. And uh, it's a promo copy, uh, you can see there uh, it says uh, promotion not for sale from the album Road to Ruin, really cool Ramon song. And what's also really cool is that uh, one side came uh, with the mono version of the song and the B side comes with the stereo version. I guess the opposite. The stereo version is right here and the mono version is right there, which I rarely see in the 45s that I have at least. So yeah, really cool release. I didn't have it in my collection uh, and I do have a Ramones collection so I, I was happy to add this one um, to my collection. Again, the Ramones with uh, needles and pins. All right, up next, I also picked up a few uh, more modern kind of releases. Uh, this first one is also from the record store and it is the, the Gaslight Anthem, the boys from New Jersey. And this one is the single for 45. And this one is from 2012 on Mercury Records. And I think this song, uh, a lot of people in the VC will really appreciate uh, because it's a song about listening to 45s, to music on vinyl. And so you listen to 70 singles and you'll find out that out in the lyrics that are listed here in the back it shows up really dark it's not the best combo to have the uh, brown background with the black letters but uh, uh, yeah it does have the lyrics for 45 and that is side a and inside b is a song called you got lucky really cool single to find i've never seen it before and i do like the gas anthem at all a lot uh, but I don't really have I didn't really have any of the releases in the past This is the first one that I picked up from them and there's the record itself with the Mercury record labels So regarding the music this song is fantastic It is by far my favorite uh, song from the Gaslight Anthem uh, It's a little bit I, I would say it's a little bit of a different kind of song by them uh, but I, I love it. I, I, I do, do dig, dig, dig this song a lot, especially for the content of the lyrics because it's about listening to music on vinyl. What, how can you go wrong with that? I think a lot of people would appreciate it, especially here in the VC. I'll, I'll go ahead and put a link here in the description so you can go ahead and check out that song. Again, uh, the Gaslight Anthem with 45. Alright, next uh, I picked up also this uh, very interesting release uh, that I've been trying to collect in the last few years. Uh, they are really hard to find, especially nowadays. This one uh, is a, a collection of, of uh, singles or like a single, um, a, a series of uh, singles that came out uh, a few years ago. This one came out in uh, 2011 on Suburban Home Records. And this one uh, is called Under the Influence, vol Volume 16. This is the number 16 of the series of releases. And it has two songs. Inside A, you have uh, the Flatliners with Straight American Slave, which is a cover song uh, originally by A Rocket from the Crypt. And inside B, you'll have Dead to Me playing the song Five Corporations, originally done by Fugazi. And like the name of the series of uh, seven singles says, uh, all of the songs are cover songs uh, by newer bands playing songs, old songs by bands that influenced them. Uh, but what's also really cool is the artwork itself. It's by an artist called Mitch Clam. He did the artwork for all of the, um, the singles and the releases or in the series of releases. Uh, but what's cool is that they he used like the or he was inspired by the uh, original artwork by the original uh, band that played the, the song and kind of modified it a little bit to to make it more uh, uh, theme towards the new band that's making the cover. So in this case, he used um, the traditional snake artwork from the original called um, the original song by uh, Rocket from the Crypt. In the original, you have a snake here in the in the artwork. In this one, he changed it so it's the Space Needle instead of the snake. Uh, 
uh, which I guess I think the Flatliners may be from either Washington State or from Seattle area. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, about the the B side, I don't really know much about it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Fugazi, so I couldn't tell you what the, this one means. But I think they used the original artwork, artwork from uh, Fugazi single or single or uh, an album by them. Uh, but it's really cool. A lot, all of the releases are like that. Um, like I said, they are very hard to find nowadays. And if you find them, they are very expensive. So I was glad to find this one in the record store for a good price. It did come on color vinyl, a transparent green vinyl, and uh, with the Suburban Home record labels. So yeah, really cool single. I only have two of uh, this uh, collection in in my of this series in my collection. Uh, like I said, they are very hard to find. I'm trying to find uh, at least most of them, but uh, they're like I said, they're very hard to find. Uh, again, the, the Flatliners and Dead to Me with uh, Under the Influence, Volume 16. And uh, regarding the music, it's excellent. And the Flatliners do an awesome song for, with the Rocket from the Crypt song. Um, uh, I would be willing, I would be willing to say that the, the original song, Straight American Slave, is probably one of the greatest punk rock songs ever and you probably don't believe me because it's a fairly new song but I absolutely love that song it's amazing it's just very high paced high energy tune uh, I'll put a link here in the description to either to both the cover and the original so you can check it out if you're a punk rock fan you will definitely like that song the Flightliners do a great job at their at the cover and that to me does a really good job with the uh, five, Corp five corporations uh, song as well uh, cover as well and it came with this kind of um, DIY looking artwork with some credits and information about the songs and the original music as well. So yeah, really cool find under the Influence Volume 16. It's a split EP or a split single by uh, uh, both bands. Alright, finally, the last one that I have to show you for today. Uh, it's This one is... Um, I, I, I don't find that many, I guess, uh, EP and 7-inch single versions, so I was very curious about this one. And it did have a couple of bands that I really like. It has the Screaming Females and What's a Hatchy in it. Uh, this one's called uh, Guided by Voices Tribute 7-inch. And like the name says, it's a collection of uh, cover songs but originally done by Guided by Voices. And this one is from Salinas, Salinas Records from 2013. Really cool artwork right there. And there's the back. So four bands playing uh, Guided by Voices cover songs. Two in each side. And it came with this kind of also DIY looking uh, artwork. And the vinyl came also on color vinyl. Kind of like a marbled gray with the custom labels. And just so you know, I'm not a huge uh, Guided by Voices fan, but I do like a lot of their songs. Uh, Inside A, the Screaming Females plays uh, Good Flying Bird, and the Swearing plays the official Iron Man Rally song. And Inside B, Upset plays uh, Chasing Heather Crazy, and What's a Hatchy plays uh, Liar's Tale. And there's the back. So yeah, an interesting release. It's, um, it's a very, very low-fi release. It almost sounds like it was recorded in somebody's house. Uh, it's not a very elaborate kind of release or with uh, very elaborate production. production. Uh, but it's still cool to have. I don't have that many uh, EPs in my collection in 7-inch version. So I was happy to find this one. And again, I'm a big fan of the Screaming Females and Watsahatchee. And I didn't know much about the other bands, but uh, I like what I hear. Uh, it's a really interesting release. With a couple, of, uh, a few really good songs in there. But anyways, uh, that's actually all I have to show you for to, to show today for you in this video at least. I do have a few more seven-inch singles that I purchased in the last few weeks, but I'm gonna save those for the next few seven-inch single updates. So stay tuned for that. Uh, anyways, let me know if you have any questions about any of this uh, 45s, and take care, VC. Bye bye.